This little video shows an example of JavaScript uh, in the browser where on, on a website where we want to uh, get and set the position of, um, of an element. So in this case I have the uh, div fold, uh, div container. It's in the background, we see it here, it's a small div uh, block. This is, uh, both blocks are, <coughs> uh, the one is, the div block is a default div, div block set in, uh, in a wider area. There's a div block before and uh, behind. So we get a scroll bar on this side. So there's a invisible big, di uh, big block before and after this um, block. And next to this one is the div blocks, a uh, div block fixed. And this block is um, in the position fixed. And what we want to do now is we want to get and set the um, the position. So <coughs> first, I show what uh, this script does. Um, when we when I move, when I scroll on the page and I scroll up, for example, like this, then um, I get the position of the left uh, block and I set the same position to the right block. And <coughs> I'm, as you see here, uh, this is a pretty nice function when we have something like uh, so with what I have seen in on a web page, uh, when you have an add block <coughs> and when you scroll over the, the website, then this big block stops at the uh, top position. And uh, so when you when you handle the position of a rectangle of a div block, then you are able to move it, uh, move it or place it on positions when you scroll. So how will this be done? First, we need the on scroll event. The on uh, the scroll of a website happens on the uh, body tag. There's a body on scroll, and this body on scroll jumps on a JavaScript function. This is a script block, script block here and here, <coughs> and it jumps in there. And on the first block, I say, okay, uh, give me, show me the position. That's what we see on the right side. On this block, we see, you see, there's a <coughs> some a small text which says, okay, what is my window, and what is my uh, div block test? This one, the the left one, and as you see, the offset top is always the straight stuff, which is this is 320. This comes from that side that we have uh, uh, in the body form. So this is the big block and there's the form block invisible of all, all that start, starts at zero. And then we have one block uh, in which is invisible uh, with 300 uh, with a height of three height of 300 pixels. And after this one comes uh, the first block. So what we have here is the first block, and then after this we have the second one with the off. So this is the offset is 320. I don't know that those 20 pixel might be from uh, from the beginning up, but I I didn't check this at the moment. Then we what we have then of this diff block we have a top right and bottom and left. So wh how do how does the system know if as when you see that when I move, then the diff block moves. And this happens by uh, in JavaScript we have the function get bounding client rectangle. So a cl when we say var rectangle of div block uh, of this div element, this this is the element div test id equals div test. Then we we said uh, create a rectangle. Give me the rectangle of this uh, test element. So this is the rectangle, this one, the, this one in this uh, green color. And <coughs> this rectangle has automatically um, some, um, some parameter, uh, not parameters, uh, some properties. So this is the top. You can, uh, you may type in that stuff, the top left and uh, 
and bottom and right position or uh, and you we ha I'm changing it to a fixed so fixed is uh, better to read uh, because norm normally it's uh, an a float number uh, a double double number <coughs> and in this case I said okay as as soon as I have a number as soon as I have a position the top position then I may set it to the second one and when you want to set a position then you have to go to the style element so the second one this one when I when I move there I get the top position and I uh, copy this as uh, style dot pixel style top of the second one of this one and I say okay this is the first one plus uh, plus the extension pixel because we're writing in the style CSS uh, stuff and then uh, I have this uh, additional stuff uh, uh, let's say a check or a correction when I say okay when this uh, when the position is smaller than zero then simply set it to zero so this one is a, an easy stuff you're moving up and it stops there and we may do the same same stuff <coughs> that we say okay not it's not uh, 20 it's not uh, zero it might be 50 or something else or position um, uh, position something somewhere else so when I say now F5 reload when we move up then it stops there uh, if something is there uh, maybe a menu or something like this so I hope I could show you a little script a uh, helpful tiny script and this also works uh, what I uh, have to say here on uh, <coughs> when we take it to uh, to the Google Chrome browser and I loading that file then we see that it stops there uh, also and the same one in uh, on the other browsers pretty that's pretty good and <coughs> I take the, the script to my to the download of my Microsoft or, or code zero page you may download download it and use it uh, and if it's helpful helpful for you